uh, hi everyone so in the previous video we were able to create a api create user and this is our create user api in the user controller it was fairly simple api we were taking user payload we were calling admin.auth create user and then populating the role okay so if we test it i just tested this application and let's say i'm providing tarun one and this is my password i'm also sending the role information okay and this will be able to create my user and i'm returning the user id that means user has been created successfully and what i will do is i will use these credentials to do the login from the ui and we already know that for the the login you don't need to write an api at the server side that is a firebase uh, dot sign in with user sign in with email and password there is already a method so we can use that so let's take a look on to our front end part so here if we go to our components auth login here we are taking email and the password as an input and then we are on submit we are calling a method here if you see email password and add message login with email this is there defined inside our actions so inside our store so that we can just see and here we are doing firebase auth dot sign in with email and password so we don't need to do anything at the server side it's a, it's calling firebase sdk directly and once you are logged in what it will do is it is going to return the token and we have this firebase config what it is doing is once you are logged in i have already talked about this many times when you are logged in firebase auth state will change and we should be able to get the user payload right if user payload is there we should be able to get the tape token and we should be able to populate our vuex the client side state with the token and all these things but we don't need to deal with that what we need is you do the login with the firebase get the token that's the only thing okay so what we need from the ui is you go ahead and do the login so here is our login part right so you log out and i just logged in and i got this token right so this is the id token which we need to send back in our apis we don't need to write much of the ui thing what we need to discuss is okay this is the token i have received and i will play with this token i will send this token in my for the request so i'm logged in now i might be ordering something this is like online store application you will be showing some set of product based on the user role now you have the id token this id token you will be sending in your further request to fetch the api data okay so for that uh, if, if we just uh, look at the the flow you got the token now uh, you, whenever you are making an api call you will be sending that token in the authorization header and that is going to hit our auth controller okay so we are going to call this authenticate method to validate if this token is valid or not so either we can write a middleware okay here we can write a simple middleware okay in this middleware we can say auth dot middleware dot ts okay what this middleware will do is it will actually uh, check the token and it will decode it it will first verify it so all those things we have written in the firebase service what we are doing is simply we are getting the token so first of all we are matching if the token is the bearer bearer or not if yes then we are actually calling the admin.auth verify token and you are passing the token string that's it and it is giving us the decoded token and you can extract email uid and the role information from the token currently this is plugged in with the service we can actually remove this logic and put this logic inside our middleware okay so if, if you wanted to test it this is currently plugged in with one controller which is auth controller and you can see this auth controller authenticate it is taking the authorization and it is calling our authenticate service okay and we are getting all these information uid email auth company id we have just the role information email 
okay that's it so what you can do for testing is you can call the, the validate user api this is the authenticate and you are going to do the get so let's see why it's not running i think some changes are there so let's wait till our server is coming up so after that you can actually hit this auth uh, authenticate api and we are sending this authorization token so it should give us this information now this information we wanted to fetch with each and every request right this is just authenticate api which we expose just to show how the decode token works and how we are able to get the uid email and role from the token after it has validated itself against uh, firebase now the simple logic which we can add is uh, we can simply create a simple middleware that middleware will do this logic and will provide this user information for each and every user each and every request it can be a part of middleware okay if we understand the flow it how it works is you will send each and every request those all and this is the middleware auth middleware.ts so it, it's a simple injectable service we are going to write and we are going to call this firebase service to validate and we have written this these middlewares many times so i will just skip a lot of description here here export class auth middleware which is going to implement nest middleware okay and uh, here we are going to have a constructor inside constructor you will be providing the author uh, firebase service and this is public async and there is a use method you have to define okay so what should be our method which is simple public async use okay and uh, we can just say request model and we can import all the required things from the constants so this is our middleware okay so i think these things will resolve soon inside a constructor we will do the dependency okay because firebase service has all the methods to validate things which we are going to call from here okay this is a thing so this is going to be simple we can call it as a request model and this is nothing but an interface i mean because we are going to override the request user object so we can extend request which is provided by express and here we are going to add one more property a user object of type any let's say so this is the request model and in the constructor we have firebase service let's see what is the name of the firebase service we will inject it here it is firebase auth service it, uh, let's say user data and we are going to call this dot firebase service and there will be one particular method we are going to call that should be authenticate and we are going to pass the authorization information this is the authorization we just pass this and what we are getting is we are getting the user and simply we can override request dot user equal to the user object and do the next this is simple logic if we see any problem with this right uh, like uh, we can wrap this whole thing inside a try catch then we can just simply throw okay maybe the token is not valid or the service which is validating this throwing an exception so we can just simply say unauthorized okay so we can repeat this http exception instead of bad request we will throw unauthorized and we can say invalid token or something like that and here it will be unauthorized 
Cool. So this is pretty much simple. Oh, sorry. I forgot these brackets. That's why it was from training. And I was wondering what what wrong I did. Sometimes Firebase service dot authenticate. Now let's see what this authenticate method does. We need uh, the user object from this. Okay, this authenticate is doing authentication. That is fine. And then it is returning this user object. This is what we want. So we will get this data in the user object. Okay. Authenticate. We are sending auth token. It is validating that it is a bearer or not. Okay. So this is satisfying our need. We have created this simple middleware. This middleware will actually update user object and you will be able to see the user object inside a request. So before going to each and every API, we can check the role. For that, we are going to write auth guard. Okay, the user is the user role is this. Should I allow user to should I allow user to access this particular API? Because this user object contains the UID, uh, email, and role which we have already seen here. What we are getting from the authenticate service is UID email role. That's it. So the same. So this is our product controller. And now the last thing is how we can access the role information at the controller level so that we can decide, okay, admin can access this route, viewer can access this route and admin or writer can access this route. Okay. So that thing we will do with the help of auth guard. Okay. First of all, what the auth guards are like we, we can actually create a custom route, custom guards, which will validate some metadata before allowing user to access that API. Okay. Like it is like same as the pipes like we define the pipes validation pipes in any particular routes uh, at the controller level or at the route level. Like this is the, the custom validation pipe we were adding. So for our DTO validations, now similarly, we can actually use use guard annotations and you can create our own guard. So use guard, uh, the role guard I can create. This is important step because this is what it is doing. So here we have to create role guard and what role guard will do is it will extract out the role information from the user object request dot user object. Right. So what we will do is we will create a guard. And so here we have. Or let's say we create everything inside a middleware. Instead of creating a separate folder for now. So it is auth dot guard dot ts and we will just use the the simple syntax of uh, writing any particular guard and this particular role guard will extract the information from the request user object okay so what we are going to do here is so i will just copy the default template of the guard so here we will actually get the request object first we'll clone it how we do it context dot switch uh, there is a method context.switch HTTP that will give us get request object. So it is this is the way to extract out the request object. Okay, and here we will verify do you have the, the role information in the user? And we are saying that every user will have the role. So we are getting request.user, we got the user object, and here we are just checking do you have the role information? dot user and here we can say const as role and this is just a simple function which is just saying if roles dot includes roles dot includes user dot role that means we have the role and we can just say return user First of all, user should be there. User should have a role, and and as roles should return true. And I can just close this. This completes okay. So uh, here we have the roles. Roles we are getting from the context handler. 
right context dot get request handler so we have predefined set of roles and we are checking do you have that role in the request object or not and then we can create one role decorator what that will do is that will do nothing but it will give us the role property directly so here i can create role dot decorator dot ts here we are talking about authorization based on the role you are passing so it will actually populate this roles information at the controller level and now let's say there is a product controller so in the product controller how we can access how we can define this particular guard so we have already created a user guard at the controller level we can just use this information that this particular route should have access should have a admin role this particular guard should have admin role and we can actually create a enum export enum type role and let's say admin is nothing but admin role and this role is nothing but a decorator which we have created so we'll import this from the middleware folder this role guard is also we have created so let's import all the missing things yes this is clear out we can import the role guard okay now this is the basic authorization we have set up on the product controller whatever whoever is going to access this that requires admin role admin role means this string should be there in the user dot role attribute otherwise they will not have access similarly we can actually create one more controller that is just for testing purpose let's say uh, log controller okay because we have to do the demo of for the testing it and this is a user role and user i mean this blog should be able to exist by the user not by the admin so we have defined it this is log instead of product and this is block controller it's just dummy controller we have created get blog create and uh, create and get blog so i mean these are just returning dummy data but that is enough for our validation we can create this interface somewhere common for now let's keep this okay now what we do is we will just start the application we will create two different users two different uh, users with the two different token two different users having two different role admin and the user and we'll allow we'll see what uh, what api they have access to okay so let's see the demo for this the only thing which we missed is uh, we we have created this middleware and we have to apply this middleware on our module okay so that for each and every request which is starting with the api v1 we should be able to apply this middleware okay so this is the api v1 all the requests which are coming will have to go through this auth middleware okay after this it is plain and simple what we are doing is uh, let's say go go to the auth guard this auth guard is checking if you have the roles then only it will allow you so this is getting the the current role which your api has access to okay you you said okay only admin can access to that api it will just get the admin information okay the role should be admin and then it will checking that the the incoming user has access to that role or not otherwise it will just say okay you are not allowed so we have tested it so let's say if i'm calling the product i logged in with the admin okay if you can just see this using validate authenticate my role is admin so i should be able to access the product api but let's see if i just go with the blog api then i should get forbidden that is correct so i mean our the use case justifies the blog can only be accessed by role having user not the admin so we are getting the forbidden here and how that is how that magic is happening we have created this decorator and if you see this this is the role which is needed 
this user role is needed but the user is coming with admin role so it's not allowed you can't access that particular api for that we just have to do additional effort we created a guard and the role decorator and on the controllers we have to protect them with the help of this guard and the role annotations admin here this is the vlog this is protected with the, the role user okay so this uh, this is our complete demo this is the end to end flow we written some vue.js application nest.js controllers nest.js middleware and the guard and the firebase service to actually create a user a lot of things we have done so this is the overall picture of the authentication authorization authentication we validated the token authorization we populated the role and then validating the role against each and every controller level each and every api route level okay so guys that's it thanks everyone so this this closes our the firebase discussion with the nest js and vue js